presentation on somatosensory cortex somatosensory cortex another name is somesthetic area and somatic sensory area so another name is somesthetic and somatic sensory area it receives and processes it all the sensory information so it receives all the sensory somatic sensations and processes it and the most important and it initiate motor movements motor planning movements there is no pain sensation reaches to the s1 area that is somesthetic area primary somesthetic area now the appreciation of the size shape texture and the weight of the object is known as stereognosis so it is a very important property of somatosensory cortex to perceive stereognosis now the appreciation of the relative intensity of the different stimuli this property is known as spatial recognition where it is situated it is situated in the forebrain and in parietal lobe physiologically we can divide this into the three areas primary somatosensory area also known as s1 secondary somatosensory area also known as s2 somesthetic association area is third part so the primary somatosensory area it occupies the post central gyrus on the later surface and posterior part of the paracentral gyrus on the medial surface of cerebral hemisphere so this structure is present in the middle of the cerebral hemisphere now it receives apicritic sensations while the s2 area secondary somatosensory area it is present in the superior wall or the sylvian fissure lateral sulcus and this sulcus separate the frontal and parietal lobe from the temporal lobe it is more primitive and it is received only the crude sensations third is somesthetic area now these are the brain area concerned with the somatic sensation this is the dietal section now here you will find central circus this part is anterior this is towards the occipital cortex so this is the area 312 is somatosensory cortex this is primary somatosensory cortex three is again divided into two a and b a is mainly for proprioception and b is for tactile information while the two number it receives both proprioceptive and the tactile information now this is area 5 and 7 is the somesthetic association area now representation of the body in these areas it receives sensation from the entire body however the proportion of this representation is different it is represented as inverted homunculus representation upon for a particular part of the body depend upon its functional importance and which is it depend upon the number of sensory receptors in the particular part so what you will find it doesn't depend upon the size it depends upon the sensory now this is a schematic diagram which you can draw in your exams so here you will find the upper lip lower lip face area thumb area so it because of the importance and number of the receptors these areas are much more rather than for the size of the body now inverted homunculus you will find that finger face neck thumb then finger shoulder thorax abdomen thigh leg foot same thing you has find in the 
previous lecture previous lecture. now again i am showing you how it represents this is the sensory map and this is the motor map similarity are there and here you find intraabdominal then pharynx tongue feet comes jaw and lips face nose eyes thumb here you will find hip leg knees and foot area then genitals area that is towards the medial side so representation in the primary area and the secondary area is the same but there is a slight difference which i will tell you here you will find the most inferior part is the pharyngeal region tongue and lips followed by face fingers hands arms trunks and thigh then leg and foot and the paracentral lobule is present on the middle surface anal and genital the secondary cortex is a smaller and less important it is smaller and less important it is located at superior limb of the lateral sulcus or lateral fissure now it is it represents bilaterally but the contralateral side remains dominant here you will find leg area is the most posterior and the face area is the anterior most why it is divided into two parts reason for uh, this division is that they receives distinct and separate point to point spatial orientation <coughs> sorry different part of the body <coughs> found in these two areas so s1 is for the high degree of localization s2 is for very poor localization function of the s2 is not very well known but we think that it assist in the s1 in so the body part is represented twice in the somatosensory cortex so in s1 and s2 area it represented twice it is highly specific neural and connection of the two somatosensory cortex these are not present since birth but because of uh with the time over time with experience they can be changed the convergence and divergence of the neurons and this phenomena is known as cortical plasticity so it is very important short note cortical plasticity this is here you will find the extensive convergence or divergence of the neurons number can be changed now this cortical plasticity is observed when one part is removed or you can also observe the cortical plasticity when one modality is changed to another modality this point is clear in blind person for example in a blind person tactile and auditory stimuli increases bmr metabolic rate in visual cortex area while in deaf person you will find that the deaf person responds more accurately and faster for sudden movement of any object in visual peripheral field so the response is quicker and faster and accurate than the normal person so the projections of the fibers primary somatosensory cortex a friend is vpl and vpn somatic sensory this contour later half of the body formation and this vpl and we important moment they receives major sensory fibers via the medial laminisky trigeminal and spinal the somatic sensory cortex gives a friend to the somatic parietal lobe as it can be divided physiologically into two functional parts s1 and s2 s1 is a primary somatosensory cortex and s2 is a secondary somatosensory cortex s1 occupies the postcentral gyrus on the lateral surface 
and the posterior part of the paracentral gyrus or the medial surface of the central hemisphere while the S2 is present in superior limb or the posterior part of the lateral fissure. So the sovetic primary projections of the fibers in S1 is the ventral VPL of the thalamus, VPM of the thalamus and they receive contralateral half of the body sensation of the contralateral half by the medial lamiscus, the spinal lamiscus and trigeminal. Different it goes to the sensory cortex and terminate at somesthetic association area. Now this picture will depict that this is the somesthetic area 1. Here you will find only the contralateral one. This is S2, somesthetic area 2, which receives both sides. This is contralateral and this is epsilateral. So the both side termination of the fibers in this area, but you will find the contralateral is. Now the somatosensory association cortex. Now this broadband classification is 5, area 5 and 7. Area 5, it is located in a superior parietal lobe, lobe. It is divided into A and B, 5A and B. 5A, A for anterior to 5A. Anterior is sensory association area included in somesthetic part. It receives impulses from adjacent primary somatosensory cortex while the 5B is concerned with the motor area. A friend, it receives bilaterally fibers from the entire body. Fibers from the primary somatosensory area, it also receives thalamus, visual and auditory cortex. Area 7, it is situated at supramarginal at angular gyri. It is divided into two parts, 7A and 7B. 7B. 7A is upper and 7B is the lower. Work as sensory association. It is responsible for interpretation of sensory signals. And it might be a center for stereo.